What's so hard about organizational change? Nothing. It's easy. All you have to do is change the behavior of one person, of, well, of everyone, but not all of their behavior. Just 40 hours at work. There's like a lot left, and that much, 128 minus the time they're asleep. So it's a, it's a third. It's only a third. Okay, a third of their behavior. While you update all of the processes that need to be changed and all of the technology that needs to be updated, and dealing with everyone's fud and panic at having to change things and still getting work done. All right, no light is not easy at all. It's really difficult. Why is it so difficult? I mean, we know that 80% of change programs fail, but why? Why is organizational change so damn difficult? <clears throat> well, we know it's got to be one of people, process, or technology, right? Technology is pretty tricky. Lots of stuff going on there. Process, yep, we got to update all our existing processes. People, all we have to do is change third of the waking behavior of a whole bunch of frightened people. But if people are the most difficult part of change, where all the danger is, then why do change programs always prioritize processes and technology first? Maybe it's because people are difficult to quantify. They get irritated if you try to measure them or tell them what to do, and they're just so fuzzy. There are just so many of them. Surely there are methodologies that address people. Actually, there are several. Here's one from John Cotter from Harvard. Now, here are his well-known eight steps for change. Which of these do you think deal with process, which deal with technology, and which deal with people? Increase urgency, that's definitely people. Build a right team, yeah, that's people. Get the vision right now, people. Communicate with the mind, yeah, power action. People, 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 people. We get the idea. Not surprisingly, how you fail is by not addressing people. You can get more information about Cotter on the website. The point is that while technology and process are important, to really succeed at change, you have to focus on people. How to do that is for another time. But the point of all this was to answer a simple question. What's so hard about organizational change? Now we know. People are the hardest part of change. So you may want to ask yourself, is your change program focusing on people first? I'm Rob Gibson, this has been a Flowscape Me, and thanks for your time.